so with no further ado, I'd like to introduce Amy. Uh, please welcome her, give her a huge round of applause, Amy Karam. Thank you, you, Sam. Thank you so much. You Happy to be here and uh, excited to be talking about a lot of our uh, globalization challenges and how we do need to change our game today to be more competitive in this new global uh, economy, um, especially given the emergence of some of the new competitors like those from China and other emerging countries. It was uh, supporting the field, the sales team, in exceptionally challenging um, competitive deals as they encountered competitors that came out of China. My job was to help them counter position and to bring the right resources and advice to the table um, in order to help them win. We also took a very proactive approach and traveled to uh, a lot of the regions, especially in emerging markets, because that's where we were most challenged. And we took a proactive approach of training the sales teams on how to be proactive in dealing with these new competitive dynamics that we were not uh, used to. Now, another part of the job was collecting data and intelligence and reporting back to executive management, and the results were eye-opening. We realized that the Chinese did business differently and consistently so, and it was up to us to change the way we did business as an organization in order to be more successful going forward. It's especially humbling as uh, a world leader when you have uh, brand equity and you're known to be um, a superior um, provider or a vendor in a certain marketplace and then you realize, wow, new markets demand new dynamics and new ways of doing business. So we had to shift the way we did business based on these new competitive dynamics. And so as I, uh, as I went through this role in this learning over four years, I realized that this wasn't a blip. This wasn't just a temporary state of being. I realized that this was the new world order. This is how business is being done globally today. You know, the world has become bigger and smaller at the same time. And I wanted to share these learnings with uh, other Western-based companies. So the China factor. The long title is Leveraging Emerging Business Strategies to Compete, Grow, and Win in the New Global Economy. Now, the major themes really are that emerging markets cannot be ignored. As Western-based uh, companies and countries, we have generally dabbled in emerging countries, uh, tried it out, uh, but our, our existence was not really sustainable. And, uh, what we're saying now is we've got to take it more seriously and we, ha we have to understand how to play here and, and how to make a longer term, um, make it part of our longer term strategies. Second is competi emerging competitors are here to stay. So the name of the book is a little bit, um, well, very specific, the China factor, but I use China, my experience with dealing with Chinese uh, competitors as an example of other emerging competitors. There's some consistency in, in how they do business based on where they come from, based on uh, just their approach. And so uh, emerging competitors are here to stay. It's not just about China, right? India is also a very strong force today. Um, and there's others that are emerging, a lot of, a lot of which is because China and India are, are growing and it makes room for others to grow in certain areas, in certain domains. I took a lot of effort and I took a lot of pride in making this really a toolbox of, of strategies and tactics, things that we actually really implemented. I wanted companies to pick this up and say, okay, I get the threat, what do I do about it? All right, so China's evolution, let's take a, a little a look at, uh, the perception of China. China, uh, what we thought China's role was in the global economy was, oh, they're a manufacturing giant, they just uh, copy ideas, they reproduce it. Uh, we love China because they enable us to buy a lot of stuff for cheap, for a really good price. And then what China's become really is a disruptor. They came up uh, quietly and very successfully. Uh, they're very strong economically and uh, so strong that they rock financial markets. Um, I 
I tell a lot of people, even if you've decided not to do business in China, this isn't about doing business in China. It's, it's understanding emerging entrants like China and the strength that they hold and the impact that they have on you even domestically. And they're a global expansion machine. They know how to expand. They're doing a great job of it. Anybody go to Africa lately? Right? They're there and they're there to stay. They, they plant themselves and they're not shy about going global. Um, and perhaps we can you know, take even more cues, we as Western-based companies, in terms of being more aggressive as they are as in going global. And then what China is becoming, so okay, what's, what's the future? They are not stopping. This is not enough. The fact that they're so strong uh, economically, that they have such an impact, they want to become innovation agents. They want to become known for innovating. And they're working pretty hard at doing that, and they're doing a good job in certain pockets of becoming innovators. And that's what we as Western-based companies take pride in. We are supposed to be the innovators. And they are sending people in flocks, especially to Silicon Valley, I'm sure many of you have seen this, to learn. How do we become innovative? How do we become Silicon Valley of China? And so, these are the dynamics that we need to be very aware of and understand, okay, so what do we do as a result of this?